look, the season's coming up. I mean, how, how excited are you? I'm very excited knowing this is my last year. You know, I got to leave everything out on the table. And, you know, we all came together as a team and brought up goals. And, you know, we want to start off by winning the opener at Notre Dame and, uh, you know, fall from there and, uh, you know, win every big game that we need to and, and just, uh, you know, keep keep getting better each week. So uh, we got big goals ahead of us and we, we want to accomplish all of them. What are some of those goals? Can you share? Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, we first off, like I said, we want to go to South Bend and win the opener. We want to beat Michigan State, beat Ohio State, and, you know, make it to the Big Ten Championship game and, uh, you know, obviously win that and represent the East and get to the playoffs. And I feel like we could do that with this team. We're a much older group. Uh, we, we feel like we improved a lot, especially on the offensive end. So we're excited to go out there and show what we could do. You feel that some of that is also due to the fact that you've been through the tough times yeah. and now that maybe you've been through the, the wars and the, the losing end of that, that you can turn that around and make that something that you can look back at and, and use? Definitely. We, we felt what it feels like to lose. So and we already know what that feeling is. We don't want to keep you know, doing it to ourselves. And, you know, a lot of this is on us. We, you know, the coaches are putting us in good positions to win the game, and we got to go win the game. So, I um, mean, like I said, we, 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 wanted, we want the other feeling of winning. We, we want the feeling of winning that big game against Michigan State, against Penn State, against Ohio State. You know, we want that feeling, and we, we haven't had it in years. And, you know, a lot of us, this is not our, this is our last chance. So, this, this is what we want to do. We want to go out there and, and grab them opportunities and, and win. Been around the game for a little while, so I've known that teams that win it have an it factor. They have that special thing to it that you don't really quite put one finger on, but it is also kind of a theme. Do you feel that you're sensing this team has something it? And if you could try to categorize it, I obviously have a great feeling. You know, every team comes in with a great feeling, but this year is different. You know, my fourth year coming in, I feel something special coming with this team. And I say that because we're closer than we have ever been. You know, we uh, we know each other. We're learning about each other every single day, and uh, that trust is going to come into a, a big factor. You know, when we're in them big games, we got to trust each other, trust that that person next to you is going to do their job the right way, and and that's what we're doing. You know, trust is going to be a big big thing for us this year, and uh, we're ready for it. How, how chomping at the bit are you to get back out there? Man, I'm excited. I can't be more excited, especially going into my senior year and being able to, to leave my stamp on the University of Michigan as who I am as a player and had a shot at making history and achieving those great accolades as a running back. And your team as well wants to achieve some things. Just talking to uh, some of the other guys about what you guys have, the goals. What are those goals? Those goals are ultimately to win the national championship. But for us, it starts with the first game and being the best team we can be, being the best players we can be, and putting our team in the best position to make sure that overall goal happens. Now, you've went around the game long enough to know you've watched enough teams win it, like an Alabama, like a Clemson. Yeah. They have an it factor. Mm -hmm. They have that thing. You don't really know what it is, but they have that thing. What is that thing that Michigan has that's going to be able to put you in that conversation? That team camaraderie. Everybody working together for the same pur purpose, on the same page, knowing what the goal is, knowing what the mission is, and submitted to that process. How was it different this year than last year? Because I'm assuming you guys had somewhat of that feel last year. I don't think guys were as submitted. I think guys were committed or wanted to be committed. This year, I think we're submitting ourselves to that process and holding each other accountable at a high, high level and making sure that everybody's on the same page. We're only as strong as our weakest link, so if our weakest link is strong, then we're strong. You know, you, you hate, I hate to do it, but talking about, you know, but the losses, do they give you that kind of battle-tested mentality that you've been there before, you know what it's like to be on that end of things, and that can maybe help you this year as you try to you know, erase those memories and make them go in your favor. You do, and, and you bring up a great point. The biggest thing about it is that the whole thing comes down to finishing. Almost every game that we lost has come down to the fourth quarter, the last few minutes, the last few seconds that we've lost the game. It hasn't been like we've just got extremely blown out. Other than Penn State last year, every other game we lost in the fourth quarter. So our biggest thing has been able to finish. And knowing that and having that mentality throughout summer workouts, spring practice, of finishing each and every rep, each and every play, each and every workout, I think is going to propel us to a great fall camp and a great season. Do you feel the fan base, the, the want of Michigan fans to have success for you guys on the field and, and, and back up that Michigan you know, fan base that wants so badly to be back <laughs> up at the top. Do you guys feel that at all? Um, we do feel it, but at the end of the day, nobody's more important than the guys inside of Schoenbecker Hall because some people are going to be on our fan base because we're winning. Some are going to be true fans regardless of if we win or lose. But ultimately, it doesn't matter because it only depends on the guys that are in that room playing each and every Saturday and able to make something happen and make a difference.